starting off with a tag team championship this evening, and I am awaiting the uh, return of my broadcast partner, uh, Joe Dombrowski, and as we are as we are also awaiting the, uh, I believe we are seeing the main event. Make their way. Jay Worth, thank you for uh, holding down the fort while I had to take care of some business. I apologize. I wanted to handle that. At about 6.55 before we went on the air, it, it wasn't something that I was comfortable doing or was happy about doing, but I think it needed to be done to make sure that we had uh, an organized, a positive, uh, a, a, a free-flowing live event here tonight. The events that happened in Revengeance uh, were completely uncomfortable and crossed the line and got way too personal, but that's in the past. Right now, the present are the top contenders for the Premier Tag Team Championship. Gannon Jones Jr., Duke Davis, Jay Worth, the have their career uh, in a variety of organizations. Certainly, they've been dominant everywhere they've gone. Premier has been no exception. I, absolutely. Two of the best athletes I've ever seen step into the ring. And the fact that they're working together as a tag team should worry any other tag team in the region. And it only gets more and more... Um, potentially uh, uh, diabolical and potentially tough to overcome when you factor in that uh, the main event have had a long-standing relationship with the heir apparent Chris LaRusso, not to mention the premier champion that got unhinged, Ron Mathis. I mean, I couldn't agree more with you. When you're a weapon, there's nothing better than to have a, have someone good swinging you. You're in the court. They are, they are in the court. And that... and. They are out here. We sorry, I, I was distracted by two hobos who just came through the. Oh, look at them! They look like '30s hobos. Are they here to jump a train? No, they're traveling businessmen. And business has been very good because it they, clearly hasn't. They can't afford shirts. They've been Premier Tag Team Champions. It's the month of March. They've been doing big things in Chikara as well, and uh, crumbles into Farge ever since that hellacious ladder war. Um, Back some eight months ago, Crumbles and the Farge have been the faces of the Premier Tag Team Division. They've had a tough test in the past from Gannon and Duke, but have been able to eke by each and every time. We'll see if that's the case again here tonight as we go to Nick Hunt for the introductions of the champions and challengers in this all-important Premier Tag Team Championship encounter. Start us off at November Payne. You see the champions? As they are prepared for... Wait a minute, wait a minute! Oh. I don't think we're going to get the introductions, Jay. Worth, Duke, and Cannon just deposited the champions to the floor while they weren't even looking. Oh, I was going to say, and they, they, have, they were able to afford hats, but I think we're on to more pressing matters. Hats, but not shirts. I don't understand. In any case, the main event just... just Hard them up, for lack of a better term. Yeah, we'll see if they can afford the potential medical bills the made of that one to bestow upon them. It's Gannon and Cornelius Crumbles, Duke Davis, and Sonny Defarge. And uh, the main event are two athletes who feel that this opportunity is more than owed to them. And you hear Duke Davis uh, taking out his frustrations on this... Uh, Cleveland, Ohio, Turner's Hall crowd as well. Anytime we've seen uh, Gannon Duke against DeFarge or Crumbles, we've seen Gannon Duke in tag title opportunities in the past. We've seen it result in count outs or disqualifications. Or there you see an example there. Duke Davis got caught up in the garden. That's how the main event got counted out in the first meeting between these teams way back when we crowned the first tag champions last year. Is he still? He's, how did he end up there? I think what Duke, did I miss? I think he attempted to kick DeFarge on the outside. DeFarge had moved, and Duke had accidentally lodged himself. It led to a counter in the past. And you see Gannon trips, uh, trips over DeFarge, who's behind him. And here we go now. This could be it. And Jaylor, that's how DeFarge and Crumbles have outsmarted Duke Gannon in the past, Uppercott. We'll see if they can out-resource TME again here tonight. I don't know that I... Oh, wait. No, no, no. We have, uh, we have Duke Davis free. Six foot six. Better here when there's a drop kick. Couple of the Farge always adept at their drop kicks and uppercuts as Duke seeking salvation on the floor. Not the way the main event 
wanted to start this thing. They got the uh, surprise advantage in the early going. Couples in the forge uh, didn't see it coming. Wait a minute. Pujols to the outside, but he couldn't take both men down. I mean, you are you are talking about a how tall is Crumbles? What, 5'9"? And Crumbles, oh, Crumbles, Crumbles stutter stepped that time. I think Crumbles either second guessed himself, or perhaps he saw he sensed TME attempting to move out of the way. And Crumbles didn't get all of it, but thankfully he got enough to where he didn't take a header on this unprotected floor. And Defarge now out to join him. And now they are they are focusing on on uh, Gannon Jones Jr. Maneuvering Gannon back into the corner. Tag into Cornelius Crumble. Great tag team chemistry that Crumbles and Defarge always display. Uppercut. Drop kick. Fall down. Gannon is, uh, is he? Now he's got a little bit left. I thought Gannon Jones was uh, out to lunch at that point. You saw the way his body just collapsed. Wait, Duke Davis. Oh, Defarge never saw it, but Duke Davis to his feet and picks up the fight again. This official's got to get control. Yeah, making sure that this uh, this tag match, at least for a little while, is is two on one. And here we go. Pen. Did you new? No. Thought that might uh, be enough to at least uh, shift the momentum, which it has, as Gannon tags in the metahuman. Near six foot six and just unmitigated power. Six foot six. I was putting him somewhere around six foot forever. Good. Check that out. A handoff on a suplex. Now some squats. There is absolutely no limit to the strength Duke Davis can display. We <laughs> know. Duke Davis uh, just popping, uh, that was that was Defarge, correct? Yeah, yeah, and that was just for good measure. Yeah, right? just to make sure that he didn't get involved in this in, in this little uh, main event party. Well, Crummel's uh, desperately seeking the salvation of the ropes as Duke Davis... Davis broke. Yeah, but continuing to press the advantage and almost press Crummel's overhead. I think the only reason he didn't pick him up overhead is just because he didn't feel like doing it. He clearly could have. Keep in mind, TME were two-thirds of the team along with Chris LaRusso, who defeated the culmination at Anniversary. And the loser of the fall leaves Premier Forever matchup. Saw Otis Coger leave Premier and lose his career. The culmination, and of course, especially Otis's brother Atticus has been fuming over the result and the circumstances surrounding that matchup. It looked like LaRusso's career was over until TME were the ones that bailed LaRusso out by pulling the official out of the ring. Perfumes are fuming. Gasoline is fuming. What Coger is is something beyond that. You, it, it's... Cover here, two count only. It, it, it might be the most uncomfortable backstage area I've ever been in. Just, he, you see him coming, and it's what can I stare at so he doesn't, I don't make eye contact with him. Yeah. Uh, that's uh, certainly a great uh, great assessment, something that uh, I'll begrudgingly admit I'm all too familiar with, especially around Atticus and the rest of the culmination as Crumbles breaks free of Gannon Jones Jr.'s tinlock for Pro Wrestling's All Star. Comes back and turns momentum back. Back into his favor in uh, the drop of the hat. Did you see something about the suspenders? I believe he did. I wasn't sure exactly uh, what he was uh, complaining about. But Gannon the drop, toe hold, and two drops that tree trunk of a leg. And here you see the athleticism and also the propensity to show off from TNA. Well, when, you, when you got the chance to, uh, to get a little swallow, take it. It's a life lesson for you, Virgil. Not what I'd expect from you, but be that as it may. What you're talking about, look at these guys. Oh, God. And Duke, oh, oh Duke just popped Sonny Defarge again. Speaking of uh, tears, well, you uh, tear a check out of the old checkbook and put it into a uh, little spot. Drop kick. Well, 
Was, uh, was that a little thank you? I'm not going to say exactly what that is or isn't because uh, as Duke hits the leg lariat and goes in for the cover, Crumbles gets out right at two and a half. All I'll say is what I gave Lundell is Lundell's personal business. It's a decision that he has to make uh, on his own. And if he chooses to accept what was in the envelope and make that public, I will give him the respect to decide to do that or not. Being that you were being mysterious, I'm just going to go ahead and make something like that. I'm going to say you uh, roll him in bacon for a month. <laughs> with the cover as uh, Defarge able to save. How about that, uh, looks like a field goal punt a moment ago by Gannon and Duke as they had the, the skull of uh, Crumble's cone and Gannon just buried the foot in. Well, I mean, when you're, when you're the main event, you have to believe that their strategy is we're going to go out and be bigger than whoever we are facing. So the getting body on, on people is what they do. Kicking someone's head off, Par for the course for the man. As Crummels uh, try to kick his way out of the uh, TME corner, and Duke Davis, imagine just trying to compete and trying to focus when you've got a man on Duke Davis behind you. You know, at any given moment, he could strike. Oof, there you go. Once again, from behind, just the, a stomp to the back of the head while he was draped across the top rope. In case you're wondering the size of the man in the ring at the moment. Duke showing off, running his mouth. Another shot for Defarge. And I'll, I'll give Defarge all the credit in the world for not just storming into this ring and, and risking disqualification. I think you ought to be giving the credit to uh, Duke Davis, who understands that uh, he needs to make sure that Crumbles and Defarge aren't able to tag freely. And he is making sure that doesn't happen. Crumbles out of the way in the corner and just wildly flailing away. Drop kick. And it's not often a Crumbles drop kick will not take the opposition off his feet. And you saw Crumbles reach for a tag, but the forward's still down from Duke. And Crumbles has to improvise. DDT. Going to say it's also not often that you see that you have to try and drop kick down someone the size of Duke Davis. And now could be a turning point in this contest as Crumbles. He's got a uh, clear path to Defarge if he can find his way there. Duke Davis is all out of sorts. He got spiked on his head. Here comes Sonny Defarge. And Davis to his feet. Uppercut, 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 uppercut. A great play-by-play -play manager. Just a thing I know. Oh, what a collision! It's a rarity you see someone choose to uh, take the rope's chest first. But boy, he swung right around and just popped at Gannon Jones Jr. right in the mouth. Amazing momentum, and here comes, oh, Crumbles went for Duke Davis, Duke out of the way. Oh, and dude just booted him right in the head. Not the first time, probably not the last. But Duke got caught coming in. As far as the roll up here, stack the big man up, couldn't keep him down. A great seamless float over. Staying on him. STF submission attempt. Can the meta human, will the meta human tap out? Actually, a bit of a, a an Indian death lock as opposed to just the regular knee joint on that. Duke is inches for the rope, but Defarge pulls the arm away. Modified crossface chicken wing as well. Uh, yeah, just has them all tied up and in the center of the ring. Duke can't reach the rope. Gannon's got crumbles and Gannon's got to bail out his buddy. And does the nick a ton. Kick right to the temple. Uh, I didn't even know he was Jewish. Oh, stop it. Never thought I'd miss BC Steel. Be that as it may, Gannon Jones Jr. has turned the tides. It's Crummel's uh, rather Defarge all over the ring after Crummel's was taken out on the floor. Crummel's up. Nope. Defarge went once again to spring off into the clothesline. Sidewalk slammed by Gannon. The official explaining Gannon is not legal. Duke and Defarge are the legal men. And Gannon having to improvise. Could this be all new champions? No. Oh, that was so close. 
Can you imagine what we're going to hear from Chris LaRusso if TME is successful? The power that LaRusso's court will have will be unprecedented. I, mean, I assume it would start with trumpet fair and then probably the sound of, of all the doves being released. You see Gannon checking the playbook. He may be getting a little bit uh, upset. He's yelling out plays to Duke Davis as far as what to do next if there's a way to keep DeForge and Crumbles down. Perhaps Gannon has it on his forearm. Well, I just saw Duke Davis pick up the title belt. He just handed it to uh, Gannon Jones Jr. Well, the referee's looking right at him. This will be his qualification. If Gannon does this and the official not gonna let it happen. And now handing it back what? out. To it was a ruse, it was a distraction. But wait a second, the referees turned around and caught Gannon. Gannon stutter stepped, and I think the TME uh, no playbook wasn't exactly perfectly timed because now Crumbles has the championship. And DeFarge has the back of Duke Davis. Oh, I'm sorry, Gannon Jones Jr. TME tried to manipulate the system. Second title belt, the officials got to get out of there. And DeFarge is trying to put Gannon to sleep. Wait a minute. Duke just passed that, that, that bottle. And Gannon just sprayed that bottle. I don't know what's in it. I'm not going to give him the benefit of the doubt to assume it's just water either. But it went to the eyes of DeFarge. And there you see that elevated drop kick. And we have new tag team champions. Ladies and gentlemen, the main event finally getting the gold they deserve. Premier tag team champions, the main event. Well, we heard Gannon draw from the playbook, and apparently it worked because you needed two championship title belts as a diversion. And then that drink bottle sprayed right in the eyes with whatever was in it. Gave DeFarge uh, just enough uh, blindness to not know what was coming. TME capitalized. The elevated drop, and they're not done, it looks like. Uh, uh, well, it's typical. Once a new regime takes power, there are some executions to be had. Gannon is holding Crumbles and instructing uh, Duke Davis on what to do as Crumbles is, is screaming out trying to help his buddy. They've lost the tag team championships. Crumbles might lose his, his tag team partner as well. Oh, and Davis is up. No! Oh! Right down on the leg. Right down, well I should say right down on the chair onto the leg. We've already won the championship. What's left to prove? This makes it a lot easier should they decide to enact a rematch clause. I, I think the uh, the environment here in Premier Championship Wrestling has has made TME more aggressive than ever. And it looks like they're, they're set to take out Crumbles and DeFarge as victims. DeFarge got taken out. Crumbles is, looks like Crumbles is next. Oh no. Chair wrapped around. Wait a minute. That's, that's a culmination. Culmination. That's Atticus and Remy. And TME want nothing to do with an escalating turf war interrupting their moment. And you see the, the clubs, the cudgels that they just came out with. I wouldn't want to take a shot from it. Oh, and look at how happy Chris LaRusso is. The heir apparent. Oh, wait, it may not be time to celebrate the culmination. Gonna take this war to TME. LaRusso's got the premier champion and the tag team champions. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Here's a bad blood between the Cobras and Crumbles and the Fars. It's gonna explode again. And and with one with a bad wheel, they're sitting down. Whoa. They just dropped weapons. Perhaps by circumstance, perhaps by respect earned over past battles, maybe a little of both, the culmination have done what I never thought I'd see. They've come to the aid of Crumbles and Defarge and not just that, helping them from the ring. That, I mean, we are talking about a team that has looked for the weaknesses and when to exploit them, and now doing the exact opposite. 
what may have started as a hit on Ganon and Duke may have turned to the enemy of my enemy is now perhaps, if not my friend, at least an ally. The culmination of Crumbles and Defarge stand together.